Before starting the video, if you want this Mark II character, let me tell you, this Mark II character was made by Extra Gaming Point channel and by me. So, you will have to subscribe Extra Gaming Point channel and then go to the link given in description, you'll get the character. So hello guys and welcome to another tutorial of Papercraft Animations. In this tutorial, we are gonna learn about some simple basic steps of DC2. I also made a video on this before but due to my lack of voice the video was not understandable properly. So let's start with a normal walk first. Whenever you move a character maybe a little bit or more make sure the legs of the character one or the other any one leg of the character must be on the exact place where it was before look in here how i kept the first leg which was touching the ground exactly on the place where it was before this will make your character stick to a place where it was before and it will look realistic Position of your hands must be like when your right leg goes in front then your left hand must be in front. So just think of the realistic moves you do in your daily life and just put it into the animation. And as I told many times use as much frames as you can to show your realism because DC2 auto generates the frame in between two frames. but. DC2 doesn't know how you, it will get a turn, how it will get a curve move, so that you should show using frames. So I'm fast forwarding this part, just pay attention to the movement of the bones and the character, how I'm moving the character and where I'm placing the character because that play an important role. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, this is looking really fine, but I need some more frames to understand it perfectly. So here I have applied some more frames of walk cycle, uh, but the walking is looking a little fast. So I'm keeping it as a normal speed because we don't walk that much faster. So for walking, your speed must be normal. Just pay attention to the speed because I will be uh, teaching how to use speed effects so for walk cycle the speed must be normal so let's start with the running cycle so if you are if you are animating a run cycle then first you should think if you are on a point if you are on a starting place and what you'll do to start running you can't just take a big step and directly start the running right so you should first start with small step and then go for the big one like how i did in this scene first two three frames i started with small steps and then went for the running if you start like this means from a small step to the big steps then your animation will look realistic and in animation realistic moments really matters because that will that will give you a good animation look in this animation i have to venom character because venom character has a long hands and long legs so the movement of the legs and hands will be clear to you so that's why i have to venom character so the run cycle is complete let me make my camera a little bigger to take a full camera view and I'll set the animation speed to fast because for walking normal speed is not required like you can see here in fast speed this is looking realistic so my walk uh, my run cycle is complete let's move on to the next one so in this scene I will show you a simple sh jump means the jumping and the landing and how the curve of the jump should be and speed effects for that and camera movement so before jumping you take a step down or you sit first and then go for a jump right so I have shown the exact thing here and make sure you keep the character exactly at the place where the character leg was in the last frame as I showed as I showed you before 
that step is really really important or your character will be out of out of scene means it will be like well, anywhere the leg is going anywhere walking from anywhere so that will not look good and when you're going to the detailing part means like a jump a flip a detailed work when you show make sure you use as many frames as possible because as I said frames will give you a smooth animation many of my subscribers or many I, I got many comments regarding that how you make smooth animations the answer to that is make use of as many frames as possible because drawing cartoons too will only generate in between frames which will be straight and steady so you can't uh, the dc2 will not give a curve or a turn to it so that detailing part should be made from your side so you should be uh, care you should take care of that that because otherwise your animation will not look smooth or realistic because frames does matters a lot for your knowledge i would like to tell you that for a one minute of a full action video it takes 250 frames uh, 250 frames to make a one minute of video which is actually a lot so it cost me too much of time to make that some people ask me to make videos in one day two days it is not possible because it uh, it cost me time to animate and then uh, add sounds to it so the animating part is done after you finish the animating part just fix your camera to a large view so that you should look onto your speed effects with that camera view so in here I have set the animation speed to fast which is not looking good because I have used many frames here so I'll set it to very fast you can see this part is looking good but this scene includes means in this scene I will have to adjust the speed effects so in this scene you can uh, see that my running is going too much faster and my jumping and landing is going perfect so what I'll have to do is set the starting running cycle must be little slower and then the uh, jumping and landing is perfect i'll have to i'll i'll don't have to change that speed so i'll change the speed of my starting running cycle to little slower and you can see here yeah this is fine but still my running cycle is little slow so let's after making it little faster this is looking great Yes, this is perfectly fine and I'll just watch it on in a full screen. Yes, as you can see this is good means this is looking really really realistic. So this is how you change the speed effects. Now let's move on to the camera view. In camera view, the main focus of your camera must be on the character. So which character you are showing that character must be exactly in the middle of the camera if your camera is fixed and you are placing the character to the side of the camera then it's fine because when you move the camera and the character together your means the viewers viewers will get a uh, disturbance on their eyes because they will not not means the character will not look pro properly so the character must be exactly on the middle or little bit of a moment means little bit of slide left right up or down that is okay but it should not be uh, in one frame you are keeping the character to a left corner and in another frame you are keeping the character to right corner that will uh, not look good or the weaver, weaver will not means that will not attract our eyes okay so that is really important the camera movement you should keep your character in the middle so as you can see here it's looking perfect so I hope I have cleared your doubts about uh, speed effects uh, camera movements and basic walk and run again
so thank you please comment below what my next video should be